Before we begin I want to give a shout out to, Alex Pittman, thank you for subscribing and commenting. Today we are going to be going to teach you, how to pass a drug test. If you have consumed Delta 8 THC, or any kind of THC for that matter, and you have a drug test coming up, you will fail. But have no fear, because the secret to help you pass that drug test is in this video. At the end of this video, I will share with you a secret fast way to pass a drug test. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. Also make sure you smash that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on any of the videos that are coming out soon. These include the best bongs, pipes and vapes to use with Delta 8 THC, and more news about THC. If you have any questions, or have an idea, on a topic you would like me to do a video on. Just subscribe, and comment below, what the topic is. And I will do my best to do a video for you. I will also give you a shout out in the video. So again make sure you subscribe. You wake up and all of a sudden you start to panic. You just remembered, you have a drug test for work, you just smoked last night to help you relax after a long hard day at work. What are you going to do? You're going to watch this video all the way to the end. Because the answer to your problem is in this video. If you have to pass a drug test for THC, it is important to understand how drug tests, and detoxing works in order to put yourself in the best position to pass. How long does THC stay in your system? Answer. Urine test, 30 to 45 days, if you are a daily consumer. Blood test, 45 to 60 days. Hair test, 90 to 120 days if you are a daily consumer. Saliva test, 1 to 7 days for a daily consumer. What factors determine the time window for THC still being in your body? Answer. Your body mass or BMI. Your metabolism. The levels of THC in your body. The natural timeline for THC leaving your system is different for everyone. As it depends on a number of factors, that include age. Body mass. Metabolism. Frequency of exposure. Duration of exposure. And the potency of the cannabis consumed. For most people, it can take as long as 4 to 6 weeks, for traces of THC from cannabis to naturally exit your system. Unlike other testable substances, THC is fat soluble. Which means it gets stored in your fat cells, and organs. Generally speaking, the less frequent you consume, and less body fat you have, the lesser amount of time it will take you to cleanse. As you may have guessed, the more frequent and concentrated, your consumption is. And the higher your body fat levels are. Will have the opposite effect. Making it a longer process to getting THC out. How do marijuana drug tests work? Answer. Cannabis leaves traces of THC in your fat cells that deposit in your bloodstream. Making those traces detectable by drug tests designed to check your urine. Hair. Blood. Or saliva. Urine analysis. Nanograms per milliliter is the unit of measurement used in drug tests. The most common urine analysis used is set to detect 50 nanograms per milliliter, or higher of THC in your system. What this means is that you need to have at least 50 nanograms of THC per milliliter of urine for the test to come back positive. This method of testing is the easiest to overcome, by flushing your system for the day with a detox drink, or permanently with a detox kit. There are two different types of drug tests for urine analysis. Immunoassay. The most common. Is the cheaper of the two options. And offers results quickly. Like most things that are fast and cheap, there are a few drawbacks to this method of testing. Sometimes immunoassay tests will give a false positive. If your initial test comes back positive, a second type of test is taken to confirm the result. The gas chromatography. Mass spectrometry test is more expensive, and takes more time to get results, however, it is a much more reliable test, rarely giving false positives. Urine tests can return diluted results, which means the test was inconclusive, and must be retaken. The test retake usually occurs the next business day, which provides additional time to detox. Hair test. This is another type of test that employs two tests to confirm a positive result. The first test is the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. ALISA, and the second test is the aforementioned gc ms For most hair drug tests, the first inch and a half of your hair from your scalp down, will be analyzed. The average hair on your scalp grows at the rate of half an inch per month. 
the inch and a half of hair taken for a drug test will thus be able to detect DHC use for around 90 days. Despite the ability to test further back than a urine test, hair tests are not the best choice for identifying recent cannabis use. This is because it can take up to a week for traces of THC to show up in your hair. Additionally, some medications have been known to produce false positives. So be sure to let the tester know if you are on any prescription or over-the-counter drugs. Blood tests. When it comes to identifying recent cannabis use, blood testing is the best option. Within a matter of seconds after smoking, THC is detectable in your blood, which is why certain roadside tests can be blood tests. If you only took that one puff with a friend, THC can be detectable in your blood for 1 to 7 days. However, heavy users can expect it to remain in their blood for quite a bit longer, and similar to urine, it can be detected in your blood for up to 2 months. Mouth swab tests. Mouth swabs are becoming more popular. They are quick to administer and provide accurate information concerning recent use. However, they are pretty much only reliable for recent use. Because of this, law enforcement has embraced mouth swabs as a way to determine if someone is operating a vehicle under the influence. Do these common methods for passing a drug test really work? Natural cleanse can take 30 to 60 days. Detox kits can flush DHC in 5 to 10 days. Detox drinks can temporarily flush DHC the same day for a few hours. Synthetic urine can work but is detectable and risky. Home remedies, magical at-home fixes like niacin and vinegar are bogus. Other urine, pee from your straight-edge friend, won't be the right temperature. When it comes to cannabis, detoxing is a process that can take some time. The more days or even weeks you have to detox the better. Unfortunately, not everyone has ample amounts of time. To help speed up your body's detoxification process, there are a number of different options, just note that some work better than others. First way to pass a drug test. Natural cleanse. Most people can complete a natural cleanse in 30 to 60 days. It requires you to change your lifestyle, as well as your eating habits to make sure that your body is eliminating the THC that is stored in your system. Everyone detoxes at a different pace. Although, most people can get completely detoxed within a few weeks. And since cannabis is stored in fat cells, heavy daily users have reported it taking over 90 days to test clean after their last puff. If you are in a situation where you are not able to do a full, natural detox, the following options are available to help people that do not have the luxury of time. These will not completely cleanse, however, they can help you get a negative test result. It is important to note that several states have laws that make it illegal to lie on a drug test. Be sure to check your local laws. Detox drinks, same day detox drinks can be helpful for stimulating your body's natural detoxification process, however, they can also be helpful in creating a window, in which you can test clean. Just be warned, some detox products can strip urine of the indicators that testers are looking for to ensure the samples are genuine. Remember, for urine tests, your sample needs to be the proper color, the right temperature, have the correct creatinine level, the correct pH level, and contain uric acid. Detox Kits A quality detox kit will ensure that THC is absent from your urine sample without stripping it of other indicators. As opposed to same-day detox drinks that will ensure your urine is clean for a few hours. A detox kit will permanently flush your system of traceable THC levels. Generally ranging between 5 and 10 days, detox kits use herbal supplements to assist your body's natural detoxification process. If you don't know which type of test you are getting, you might want to check out a full body detox that includes a detox shampoo. You must completely stop consumption during the course of your detox. After the completion of your detox kit, and you pass the at-home test you will be permanently free of traceable THC levels. This is, of course, until you consume cannabis again. So as I said at the beginning if you watch till the end I would tell you a secret way to pass a drug test. In the description you will find a link to another video explaining this secret fast way of passing a drug test. Also it should be up on the screen. Please subscribe because I try and post new helpful videos every day. Thank you for watching and I hope this help you pass your drug test.